Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to talk about identifiers and keywords. Um, as you see I'm following the Flowgrid documentation website. So if you click on the identifiers and keywords you will see some naming uh, rules uh, for identifiers and some keywords that you cannot use in Flowgrid. Uh, by the way, uh, what is an identifier? We're using the identifiers or names for functions and variables. They, uh, these names identify our variables and uh, obviously uh, related to the data type too. But when you're choosing your names for the variables and uh, functions, I think you should follow some uh, coding standards or naming rules okay so in follow uh, in flow Gordon, you have these uh, rules listed here it says they must start with a letter after the first letter the identifier can contain additional letters or numbers spaces are not allowed they cannot be keywords or words already defined by flow Gordon which are reserved for example if you're going to use a, a name uh, for a variable as false you can't do that because it is already used in flowgorithm and it means something already another one and not true or and uh, data type names like boolean real integer and uh, some function names uh, in Flowgorithm we have built-in functions like absolute values, size, uh, integer conversion to integer, etc. These are all listed here and documented very well, so you cannot really make much mistake about it. But I want to show you something else. I mean, this is uh, these naming rules are uh, used in every almost every programming languages. But if you go ahead and check naming uh, conventions conventions on Wikipedia, you're going to see that many different, uh, sorry, naming conventions, uh, naming conventions in programming, I believe, there you go. It is right here. Uh, many of the other programming languages are listed here, and if you click on any of them, you're gonna see similar naming methods, uh, rules, right? Here's a rule. Uh, to keep in mind, all the professional pro uh, programmers in real world, they use this camel case naming uh, style uh, for functions and variables all together so what you're gonna do what uh, the way you use in, uh, your names should be similar to this one for example you're gonna uh, let me uh, zoom in a little you might want to use okay here it is why can I not see the rest okay For the variables, you're going to start with a small letter all the time. Let me give you some examples. For example, I would like to, uh, for variables, I would like to use a user age variable, for example. And now I will start with a small letter, all small letter, and a capital after all. That's the camel case. For variables, always start with a small letter, all right? And the other one would be, um, let's say, account number. My next birthday. These are all valid variable names. Okay, you could also use, instead of this version, you could use underscore. That would look better in many cases. Uh, some programmers like that, but this way that I'm using account number together with the capital N, that is widely used. If you use, for example, account number with underscore version, that will also work. By the way, whatever name you use, it's gonna work. 
unless you uh, follow the rules of the specific language you're not gonna make uh, much mistakes but this way uh, the camel case version for the variables and well, functions and later we will see classes in Python this is much better and it's very readable user-friendly so my underscore next birthday would be another name a valid variable name okay so what about functions in flow burden for functions you're gonna use always capital letters first for example check age function right this is a function name another function will be uh, type message you see that I'm still using camel case version but in this time instead of starting with a small letter I start with a capital letter so while naming your functions use capital C all the time and it's gonna be the same actually for your uh, Python uh, classes and Python classes and also Java classes all right class names always start with this a capital letter for example if you're gonna write a class name person it's gonna be a big uh, letter P capitalized for example account class account with then yeah, capital A okay uh, next uh, we're gonna talk about operators thanks for watching